I always like to film our view of the day. And believe it or not, today's view, after a blustery weekend, which was a little rainy, a little chilly, a lot of wind, but up in the mountains, it snowed. Oh, look at the mountains with the snow on them. And here it is almost springtime. Still a pretty view, different every day. If you look up at the bird feeders, the poor birds over the weekend, we had a very, very windy weekend and everything blew leaves. It blew the socks upside down. However, the birds are eating pretty much all their food in one and a half days. So we have to fill bird feeders today. All the other feeders are empty and we have no birds right now. It's a beautiful Good morning. almost spring day and we're having breakfast outside. Scottish scones, jam and whipped cream and we'll enjoy these. Not clotted cream, but can you see them up close? Isn't yeah. that good? Okay, we finished our delicious scones and now we have to feed the hungry birds. First, if you're going to feed any birds at all, you're going to need a funnel. And the funnel itself has this little lever that will close off, and I'm going to go up close. It closes off. No, now it's open. Now it's closed. So if you find you're putting too many seeds into the feeder, you close it and you're not going to waste any feed. Um, so funnels you can get. I buy all my bird equipment in Walmart. It's the cheapest and they have everything. All kinds of, of seeds for all different birds, hummingbird feeders, hummingbird liquids, uh, and equipment that you need. You don't need much. What a satisfying hobby though, especially for us seniors. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sock and you're gonna make sure you have some kind of receptacle to, to put it in. I'm just using um, a vase. So I'm gonna put it in the sock, put my funnel down here, and then pour. I like to buy these containers for the seed. Now, what I'm feeding is the thistle seed. So in it goes, and it's filling up. Okay, so one is filled. I have one ready to go. Okay, two socks ready into the garden to hang them up. Okay, I'm back. Didn't fall. I have fallen before, but didn't fall. Now I bet within five minutes, those birds should be there. Okay, now I'm going to, um, I did buy a new hummingbird feeder. This one was $6.98. Some go up to $10, $15. This one's plastic, some are glass. Um, these all open, I wish they opened from the top, but they open up from the bottom. And you have to fill them this way. And then you put this on and turn them upside down and hope that the liquid doesn't come out. Um, I have made my own sugar water, but sometimes I find that the sugar clogs the little tiny holes and the hummingbirds have a little trouble getting it out. And they seem to be attracted to the red water anyway. I'm sure this liquid has, I think that's it, has enough, um, contains calcium for stronger eggs, and vitamins for healthier birds. Now this is the hummingbird. And you can also buy this in Walmart. Okay, now comes the tricky part. I'm gonna put the top on. Uh-oh. So I said it was tricky. There's two parts to the bottom and you have to make sure both of them are put on very tightly. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Okay, here goes. Didn't spill a drop. Hey, Red Barn Acre is where we used to live. And I have high hopes for this one. Don't need a 
fun of it. Put it in. The reason I have high hopes is that. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. I have high hopes because of black headed uh, gross beef. Looks right over there. Oh, that's the end of the garden. And he comes up from the uh, uh -huh. the rushes to feed. He's a beautiful bird. What does he look like again? He has a black head and the rest of them looks like an Oreo, orange. And it's, it's one of our prizes around here. And I hope to get him with Red Barn Acre. He may want to live where I used to live. <laughs> Red Barn Acre is where we raised all six of our kids. Yep. And we loved it. Horses, bunny rabbits, dogs, cats, and kids. Okay, good job. Thank you. Now for the flowers. It always amazes me how fast the birds will come back as soon as you fill up these socks with the thistle seed. So enjoyable. Here I'm showing you some of the essentials. Very easy reasonably priced essentials for bird feeding and watching. Uh, I think I've mentioned several times the thistle seed on the left, um, which is also a substitute, cheaper substitute for Niger seed. These are for the lesser goldfinch that we feed in the socks that we've talked about in the video. Um, down here is a, just a little suet we keep these, uh, the birds like them. It's uh, got all kinds of goodies inside. If you want to stick those in, you'll get several types of birds with these. Um, my normal wild bird seed economy, a 20 pound bag costs about $6.98. Walmart, I buy it all. The thistle seed is more expensive, um, but it's, it's so worth it feeding these little ones in the socks. It's probably about, um, I think it's a 10 pound bag that might be about $12, also Walmart. And down here is our bottle of um, the hummingbird food. It's just basically red. Uh, they love the color red, of course. They're also attracted to the reddish flowers. And it bases, basically has uh, some nourishment, calcium, whatever in it. I've tried the sugar water it kind of clogs a little bit. You can make your own though, but they seem to love this. And then recently we've been throwing in the black oil sunflower seeds and you attract the more unusual birds with that. Uh, the birds that we get, the uh, blue jay, we get, uh, I forget the name of the robin that Bill loves. He looks like a robin anyway. And also the woodpecker, beautiful woodpecker, love these as do the squirrels, unfortunately. But anyway, that's all you need besides your funnels and a few containers, and you're in business. Okay, down to my last feeder. I filled several of the other feeders and I mixed the black oil sunflower seeds with the regular. And now I'm gonna do the last one. This has a small chimney up at the top. The roof doesn't come off, so you have to use the funnel. That's why I say the funnel is an important tool. Here we go. Several times I've filled this up with the thistle seed, and then both birds, different species, can eat at the same time. I keep all these seeds in the patio, which is also called my potting shed, and uh, the seed is kept in large barrels to keep the squirrels and other animals out. One important fact to remember when feeding birds is it's really important to feed them in the winter time because from what I've read, the birds can starve from not finding food in the winter and they need food. And most people think that the spring and the summer are the fun times to feed the birds so they can watch them. But the birds need their fat and their nutrition uh, to get them through the winter. And they will love you if you put out some feeders in the winter time. So we've, um, we've also learned that birds will die in the winter from starvation and 
they get very, very cold when the weather, the birds get cold just like we do. Um, and that's why you'll see them feeding rather frantically around four in the afternoon to fill up their tummies to be able to get through the night. Such an interesting fact about birds. Okay, uh, better do some more. Oh, this is a really satisfying hobby. Bird feeding and bird watching and, and also the planting of pretty flowers in a garden, a small garden. Our garden is uh, a potting garden, mainly because weeding has just gotten too difficult for me. So in the meantime, we sit on this glider, which I'm sitting on now and enjoying. And Moose seems to have disappeared doing his walk for the morning. And we're beginning to start the planting. Now, yesterday, oh, I'm hot from all the all the work. Yesterday, over the weekend, we were visiting grandchildren in San Diego, and it's funny how you realize as you age, the the little things that you used to be able to do you can't quite do, and the funny things that the children say. For instance, one little four-year-old said, "Nana, you have dirt on your face." And I went in the bathroom and looked, and sure enough, it was my smudged mascara, which happens so often now when I don't realize it. Um, another thing, we were trying to play a game called headbands. Show Moosey. He knows. Let me see what's on your head. Yeah. Am I a tiger? You're not a tiger. An elephant? You're not an no. elephant. You're not as big um, as a and you put a headband on and it has cards on. You have to guess each other's card. She said, come on, get down on the floor, Nanny. And I said, oh, Nanny can't do that anymore. Why can't you do that? And I said, well, if Nanny gets down the floor, she won't be able to get up again. <laughs> and she couldn't understand. Well, that's the way we play this game, she said. And I couldn't get down. So we pulled up a table and we, we played it that way. So, so funny. I don't know what happens as we get older, but we we hang in there. Moose is back, Hi, so everybody. I gotta get ready. Where are you? I'm saying my prayers. <laughs> Good boy. See you in a little while. We're gonna be doing some um, planting now. I had to get some water. What I'm doing is I'm doing this sitting down. Oh yeah. My energy, and I'm transferring a lot of this dirt. Here. That's what you told me you were going to do. Yep. And now I'm doing it. We will do the rest of that. Now, Moose has me planting these little tiny tomato plants. Two thirds covered. Two thirds of the plant is, of, of the plant is covered. Covered. Only one third is sticking out of the dirt. See like, here? like this one? Yeah. There's a whole bunch below here. Yeah. And, and each, each one of those will set out roots. We feel good. It's noon time, or is it? <laughs> Not even? 20 to 12. 20 to 12. We have managed to plant three tomato plants. We still have some flowers to do tomorrow. That's going to be fun. I love planting. And we filled up bird feeders. We've had a good day so far. Well, that's it for the day. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with us. And if you have, we'd love that you might consider subscribing and commenting. Tell us about some of your hobbies and ways that you cope with aging. Our mission is to hopefully inspire you, seniors, and also families with aging parents to know that there are hobbies and other wonderful things to do to, to keep us fulfilled. And uh, we have other videos that also are going to be about uh, some of the ways that we cope, ways we have fun. We even have a, a great video called Senior Sense and Nonsense, which we'll share with you. Well, for now, we say goodbye and thank you so much for stopping by. We love you. Bye-bye.